Oi boys, today we are getting straight to the meat and potatoes. In our Rugby League Life 2 career mode series, the Parramatta Eels, uh, it's round two, we're taking on the North Queensland Cowboys, one of the boys we tried to snag, or was on our list, Jonathan Thurston, will be at the helm here. Not a bad side, I see Louis Brown, Brent Tate, Graham, of course Antonio Winterstein and Matt Bowen. Also a baby faced Thalmo Lolo. Speaking of baby faces, we've got some young talent on our side as well. Uh, Semi Radraja, of course, Tui Vasa Shek. Ken Seal will be filling in once again for Jacob Loco, who was injured. I'm, I'm thinking of moving uh, Willy Tonga to the left. And I also saw a suggestion for a potential spine, which I will get to as well. Again, oh, what the hell is this? First pass of the day is an interception, and they get to work. Brente taken by a. Uh, Oh my goodness, look at this. The first try is Jason Taumalolo. I couldn't even get through a sentence before the Itche hit the fan. <laughs> Holy. 6-0. Bit of width in these passes, that's a solid tackle. Not an official big hit. There's one. I'm never going to get sick of the big hits. Fui now. Puts a name on his list. Speaking of width, it's a couple of nice passes right there. And on the move we go, we couldn't draw them in. I still so I love the I love the movement in this game. Uh, with the passes. Try to throw him into touch. No, that's a good ball back on the inside. Sims. There we go. There's Fui. Overrun by Marshall. And we are taken just beyond the 30. That's that's so good. Oh, and he gets away from another. When it's on, when it's smooth, the plays look so nice. As Chrissy, the panic offload. Jonathan Thurston. He is going to take it to the house. We had uh, we had nothing, nothing on. I guess we just take the tackle, but I don't know why we bloody passed it. That is some nice face scans right there. Let's get back to it. Try and close this lead. Or we'll run this lead down. Now Malolo, the try scorer. Oh, he throws a ball back on the inside. And it's deja vu. We'll take a freebie. Down to six. Now, as nice as it is to score tries like we did to staff this half uh, we'll try and avoid that we'll try and play some honest footy here now we know oh that's a nice ball right there Ken Seal we'll get over let's go soon to be 12 all I love it when it shows them blowing up <laughs> after tries in that JT that's a nice short ball and a good offload to Matt Bowen he finds Big Willy. Play is still getting on side. And they take advantage. Matt Bowen once again involved. He gets tackled over the line. They want to check it and we'll have a little geese here. Stepping no one. And that's a try. Back out to six they go. That's a good draw and pass, a clean miss. Rajadra, we'll get used to the movement. It's a bit uh, choppy on here. As we take down Louis Brown. Short side play, that was nice. Oh, out to Fai Fai Law. Hain with the try saver. 
Back to Bowen. I love how Bowen's always stepping when he when he has the ball in hand. Oh no, we have to dive on that. That sucks. What can we do here? A short kickoff's even a thing. Now Malolo, first cab off the ranks. On oh, the 30 are the cows. Nui to no one, but we have no one to jump on that. Ooh, we get a forward pass though, we get a forward pass. That's Ashley Graham there blowing up, I believe. Gonna look for Hain. On the inside, nothing doing there. Oof. Yeah, that ain't it. Two of us a check though, gets a bump to his name. Thurston's been through it. Been, they've been put in a blender in this game. Oh, GG's, I guess. Game's choked right there. Seconds remaining. Yep, full time. That's tough. Our first loss comes in the second round of the season. And it's to the North Queensland Cowboys. Uh, before we jump into the next game, I did want to show you boys our training program. So if you haven't played this game before, it's a pretty dope little feature. Basically, it lets you choose how you want your player to develop, I guess. The programs, they have balanced speed, defense, kicking, and attacking. And you can actually change every single player's program individually now the way i'm going about it is i'm going to throw the rookies on the speed one obviously because they are slow for someone like benji who's attacking is already mad we've got him set to defense so you can kind of see where my head's at with the uh, the training i can't believe they took this kind of feature out back on the road with round three at blue bet stadium a central bit back then i want you boys to hear the commentary for a second derby of all local derbies and oh boy do they love to beat each other in 2002 the eels thrashed the panthers 64 to 6. now they wouldn't meet again until around 26 2003 when the panthers turned the tables defeating the eels 40 to 22 denying the eels a place in the finals penrith went on to win the premiership that year remarkably the last time both teams made the finals in the same year was in year 2000. i'm looking forward to another thrilling battle here I just realized I have the bloody commentary turned down, but I'll try and turn it up um, while I'm editing, but how bloody good was the monologue? So we bump one off, throw it to no one, and just like last week, it never leads to a try. Going back to the, uh, the monologues and the commentary in general, freaking hell, dude. And a high tackle to boot. You know what? We'll put it on pause for the moment. Until we're not under the pump. Try to focus up on defending here. That's a good ball. Sikamano with a simple drawing pass to put Brad Ty over. I believe it's... Was it Brad Ty? Jared Hain on the return. Finds a bit of space. You don't see that often. Returns like that, or oh, I haven't. That's Moi Moi. Bumps another. We go out the back. Nice little quick pass from Burgess. Another can seal. And he gets away from the last ditch defense. Finally, we get on the board. That is six. So what I will do, I'll turn the commentary back up. It's going to be a pain trying to level it through. Just so we can uh, listen to the nice little intros. I actually forgot about that, eh? Oh, what a fend. I don't know, man. These old games feel like they were made with... Uh, I guess a lot more love. How? Wait a minute. How did I knock on? 
Wow. Spewing. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I'm not going to say these feel like more effort was put into it. Because that's just disrespectful to the developers behind League Life 4. Honestly, it just feels like the studio couldn't make up their mind on what they wanted the League Life series to be. Ultimately, oh, that's too soft. Sikamano, nice little face scan as well. Or Going back to what I was saying about uh, Big Ed not knowing what they wanted it to be. Or what they wanted the League Life series to be. What, what I meant by that was uh, like more arcadey or more sim type. You can kind of see it or sense it through each iteration of the game. Like this is somewhat sim. Then they went to super arcadey with the League Life 3. Oh, that's a good ball. Tuivasa Shek. His first points, his first try in para colors. Finally, one of the rookies get over. It took a minute. Round three. This one squeezes in. Down by six. I'm going to table that whole talk about League Live in general for a later video. Yeah, so I want to focus on winning here. Freaking hell. That was shambles. We're scrambling. The play is too slow to set up and I guess they played the ball too fast. That's too fast to check. We let one skate by. That's crazy. That is a... Uh, that is tough. We're on the verge of a comeback as well. On the sideline. Straight over the black dot. So it's a back to back losses for our boys. First to the Cowboys, now to the Panthers. Thankfully it's a home game coming up. Uh, we're looking for the big bounce back. What we'll do now is we'll take a look at the full time match stats. And then we'll take a quick ease at the ladder before we wrap this thing up. Check that out. As close as it gets. Even though we lost by two tries. And three rounds into the comp, we sit at 11th. The league leaders, the Brisbane Broncos, followed by the Newcastle Knights, the Sydney Roosters and the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs are your top four. The bottom half of the eight, we have the Storm, the Dragons, the Sea Eagles, and the New Zealand Warriors. And yet to pick up a win still sitting on the goose egg are the Cronulla Sharks. But yeah, boys, if you did enjoy that, to be sure to find a straight at that like button. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you, 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 you. later.